If you love car arts, then there will only be a few films that have inspired you more than the Italian job to really hit the road and get out there and explore. If you ever thought about driving your way through the movie but don't know where to start, then you're in luck today as I'm going to be talking you through some of the roads you can still drive today and where you can find them. For those of you who haven't seen the movie before, there aren't going to be any big spoilers in this video, but the basic premise is that a group of criminals drive to Italy to steal a load of gold. If you too want to follow in Michael Caine's wheels, then head over to our website. You can click the link in the caption below where we've got a ready-made road trip, especially for you, all the way through the Italian Alps, Turin and more. If you haven't seen me before, then I am Becca Chaplin from Road Trip Club. We organise driving holidays and group drives that you can join by clicking our website below. Here on YouTube, I'm sharing some of our favourite road trip tips and tricks over the next couple of weeks, starting with exactly where you can find these famous driving locations from the Italian job. If you have driven or you're planning on driving any of these roads, then make sure you let us know by dropping a comment below. From the opening scene of the Italian job, you're greeted with those mountains in the Italian Alps, right from the seat of the Lamborghini Miura P400. If you can't picture driving around the Alps after you've watched that, then I don't think there's much I can do for you. The sequence drives on the Great St. Bernard Pass in the Alps. The road is located between Switzerland and Italy, and it's one of the most popular driving routes in Europe. If you want to drive the road yourself, then you're going to want to head over to the Italian Alps. The pass actually begins in Martignier in Switzerland and finishes in Aosta in Italy. The thing to remember about Alpine passes and with this one is they usually don't open all year round because of the weather. In this case, you'll only be able to drive on the pass between June and October and sometimes they'll only be open certain hours each day, depending on what the weather's like. Um, so it's always worth checking online to see if it's open and when it's open too. Great St Bernard Pass is also one of the most famous passes in the area and will take you up to 2,400 metres above sea level for some stunning views on what's actually quite a long route, 74 kilometres. Well worth making the trip, whether you're an Italian job fan or not. If you're driving your way through the Italian job though, you are going to want to head to Turin because so much of the film is filmed around the area. One of the most memorable driving scenes from the movie is when the Mini Coopers go on a chase through the streets of the city. The chase takes place in the historic area of historic district of Turin, um, which is also an UNESCO World Heritage Site. Let's talk about some of the places you can visit, but you can't actually drive around anymore. One of the most memorable moments in the film is when the Mini Coopers are driving around on the rooftop track. I remember them going up banking, driving in synchronisedness. Um, this is actually the, well, was the Fiat factory back in, the, from the 1920s, and they had their test track up on the roof. Today, it's actually an event space, um, so you can't take your car up there anymore, but you can actually take, go in the door, take a lift up to the top um, and take a look around. It's well worth doing, even if you're not into the movie or not seen the movie before, because you get these fantastic views out over um, Turin that you just wouldn't get anywhere else. You can also visit the Torino Palavella, my pronunciation probably not perfect. Um, it's a really stunning part of Turin. Um, and it's where, if you're a fan, you'll remember there's another moment, another rooftop driving moment, where the minis take themselves up to three points on this like whale tail roof. Next, I'm going to talk about Villa della Regina or Villa of the Queen, which is this beautiful historic building um, located in Turin. It was once the residence of Queen Anne Marie of Savoy um, and it was featured in the Italian job as the location where they planned the heist. Um, it's got beautiful gardens, ornate fountains, all this magnificent architecture for you to enjoy today. Um, and it's easy to see why they chose this location because it really kind of captures the uh, the Italianness of the film. Um, so you can go visit this. You can't drive your cars in like they do in the film, uh, but you'll go there and you'll definitely feel like you're stepping into a bit of um, movie history. Finally, the movie ends with the famous cliffhanger scene. I'm not going to tell you exactly what happens, but if you've seen it, you know what I mean. Um, this scene is filmed on the Col de Nivelle in uh, the Grand Paradiso National Park in Italy. It's a really, really beautiful location. If you've seen the film, you'll know what I mean. 
um, but it doesn't really do it justice. If you can see wider than what you see in that area, it's even more beautiful. Um, to drive this, you need to enter from the village of Creasole Reale. Um, again, my Italian is probably not that great. Um, and the road is open between June and September. It offers absolutely stunning mountain views and views out over the lakes. The only issue is that it is a dead end right at the end as you're heading up the mountain. So if you want to do this one, you are going to have to turn around and do it all again in reverse. Um, there's no using this as a route to get somewhere else. So that is our road trip club overview of how you can drive some of the roads in the Italian job movie from 1969. If you're going to drive any of them, please let us know in the caption below. And if you are ready for your own Italian job road trip, then head on over to our website now. Like I said, just look in the caption below. Um, we've got a link straight to it there and you can find that or another perfect European road trip for you there.